Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Calendly and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you automate your Calendly meeting reminders? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to automate your Calendly meeting reminders anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you make money online doing coaching calls, you know, it's really annoying when your clients don't show up for the meeting and they say they forgot. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process and it's handled here in your Calendly account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I've already logged into my Calendly account and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to automate your meeting reminders for your users or even your host, first, what you're going to do is here on the left menu, you're going to look for this little button. It looks kind of like a little triangle with three dots on it. Once you click there, you will be in the workflows section of Calendly. So this is where you can go ahead and automate the reminders for your upcoming meetings. So first, what you're going to do is go ahead and click on new workflow. Okay. So the cool thing about Calendly, they have a lot of different automations you can choose from. So for example, right here, email reminder to invite E. So you have to think about who in the meeting usually forgets. So for me, it's usually my invitees. However, if you work with an invitee and a host and maybe the host for some reason doesn't show up, you can use this one to email a reminder. So depending on your business, maybe you like to use email or maybe you like to use text because they do have one down here for text reminder to invitee. Now, if you're like me and you want to be really thorough, you can actually send both text and email reminders for your Calendly meeting. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So go ahead and choose whichever one. So for me on this video, I'm going to go ahead and choose email reminder to invite. Okay. So now we can go ahead and start automating our meeting reminders in Calendly. First, what we're going to do is go ahead and name this workflow. So this is only for your personal record. So that way you know what this automation is for. So let me go ahead and type this in. Okay. So reminder for my forgetful client. Okay. So my client's not going to actually see this. This is just for my record. Next, you need to choose which events you want this workflow or automation to apply to. So click here. Okay. So for me, I only have one option in my Calendly. So it's just this one right here. So I'll check that and then I'll click on apply. You can actually apply this to more than one of your meetings if you want to do that. So I'm going to click on apply. Okay. So now when do you want these reminders to go out? So that's what this is about. So by default, it's going to be 24 hours before your event start, but click on edit here. So you're going to know your clients better than anyone. So you want to choose when you want them to get that notification. For me, 24 hours is kind of early. So for me, I like to send it an hour before. So I'll leave it here before event starts. You can also base this timing off of when the event is booked, when the event starts, when the event ends, or if the event is canceled. So for me, I'm going to leave it before event starts and I want them to know one hour before. So let me delete this one hour. And then here you can open this up and do it by minutes, hours, or days. So if we change that to minute, that means they're going to get the notification one minute before the meeting starts. So we'll change that back to hour and then we'll click on done. Okay. So here we're going to go ahead and send an email to the invitee reminding them about our Calendly meeting. So we can click on edit. Okay. So here you can go ahead and set up the email that they're going to receive. Who is the email going to come from? By default, you can set it from Calendly or notifications at Calendly or no reply. I'll leave it at notification. If you want to connect your own email, you can connect your Gmail or Outlook right here if you want. And then here is the email itself. So they have it set up on a template called reminder. So these gray portions are automatically going to be filled from your meeting information. If you want to change the template, you can change it to a feedback survey. So if you need them to respond to something, but today we're talking about reminding about a Calendly meeting. So we're going to leave that on a reminder. And then here on the email, you can go ahead and change this reminder email. So this says, this is a friendly reminder that your event. Okay. So maybe I can go ahead and change this to do not forget about your event with Anthony at this time at this date. Okay. And lastly, down here at the bottom, you can put a button in your email and that way your customers have to click on the button to confirm the email and confirm the meeting. You can also put a button inside of your email so that way they can cancel or reschedule. And then lastly, you can include the cancellation policy if you want, or you can remove all of these if you don't want those. And next you want to click on done. Okay. So if you're sending out a reminder for your Calendly meeting, they're going to receive an email. If you want to double it up, like I said, you can click here, add action, and then you can add a text message. So send text to invite next. And then here you can go ahead and put the text that they're going to receive. Do not. Okay. Do not forget the meeting with Anthony or else. All right. We're going to click on done. Okay. So now we have this set up with Calendly to get a reminder email and then also a meeting text message. 
reminder. So that looks pretty good. Go ahead and click on save down here on the bottom right. Okay, now it's set up so that way anyone who signs up for this particular meeting with me, they're going to receive a reminder about our Calendly meeting one hour before the event, and they're going to receive an email and a text message. So that way my clients don't have an excuse. They can't say they didn't forget about, I'm sorry, they didn't remember it. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to set up a automatic reminder for your Calendly meeting, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.